from the heart of Silicon Valley, it's theCUBE. Covering CloudNow's seventh annual Top Women Entrepreneurs in Cloud Innovation Awards. Hi, Lisa Martin with theCUBE on the ground at Facebook headquarters. We're here for the seventh annual CloudNow Top Women in Cloud Entrepreneurs and Cloud Innovation Awards. Welcoming one of the award winners and a CUME alumni to the program, we have Tong Tong Gong. You are a co-founder and COO of Amber Data. Tong Tong, welcome back to theCUBE and congrats on the award. Thank you, thanks for having me, Lisa. Our pleasure. So, you've been on theCUBE before. We'll talk about Amber Data in a second and I love the name, so I want you to tell us a little bit about that. Um, health and intelligence for blockchain, but one of the really interesting things about you is you are a technical female co-founder of a venture-funded company. A lot of words there, huge accomplishment. Thank you. Tell us about the inspiration. What was the opportunity? Was it your idea? Was it your co-founder's idea? How did this opportunity for the technology come to fruition? And then how did you as a female go and lead and get funding for this technology? Wow, how much time do I have? I can talk all day on this uh, subject. So I'll start at last 2017 um, summer, and uh, I was just very intrigued with blockchain technology and the potential of how blockchain can change our life and take our identity assets, have full control, remove intermediaries. And I had a full-time job at that time and uh, leading you know, engineering for a startup company. And uh, I just don't have enough time in the day to learn about this new technology and what's the better way to do it and then jump right in, start our own company, and uh, you know, start from blockchain data. So my background is in data analytics and computing. And when I start learning blockchain, I realized blockchain data, it's stored, it's immutable, but it's really hard to access. It's really hard to analyze. It's really hard to process without all the tools that we all know and comfortable with. So that's you know, me and my co-founder at that point were, you know, going back and forth with, with this new technology and the opportunities. And uh, I think it's his idea. And uh, let's do something with the data that's stored on blockchain. So Ember Data, the company's name, it's uh, because Nick Zabo did a podcast with um, Tim Ferriss and Naval and uh, about um, blockchain is a fly trapped in Ember. Upon layers and layers of Ember solidify, and the bubbles and the fly, you can still see it, but it's immutable. You can't change it anymore. So we're like, what brilliant name is that? Absolutely. Right? Ember Data. And without a tool, a platform like us, you can't possibly count all the bubbles in the ember. So we help you extract the bubbles from the ember, the flies from the ember, and analyzing it. And that's what we do. Wow, that's a great analogy, a great name. So it, health and intelligence for blockchain. Blockchain is a very hot technology topic. Every company out there, whether they're a startup born in the cloud or legacy enterprise, wants to be doing something in blockchain. Was that, as a female co-founder, was that an advantage for you when you went in to venture capitalists looking to get funding? What do you think some of those advantages were? We, honestly, I always consider being female is an attribute of me, it's not, the definition of me. So I don't get, you know, my gender doesn't define me. Uh, it doesn't constrain me. It's just who I am. And I'm also engineer. I'm also uh, incredibly curious all the time. I'm also um, uh, bubbly. I'm also a wife. I'm also a daughter. So there's just many attributes of me. And when we started a company, we went into uh, lots of friends and VCs and meetups, and we we'll talked to anyone about our idea and uh, looking for advice, looking for validation. And that's really what led us to um, got the funding. <laughs> I love that. So, and that you were saying, it, and it's one day I hope we'll be to a place where gender doesn't define us, but we know the numbers in tech, females in technical roles. But it sounds like one of the things that you leverage maybe were some of those softer skills. You're very personable, you had a great idea, you clearly have passion for it, and kind of building your own groundswell with meetups and, and a network seems like a, a really one of the key uh, initiators of your success. 
I now you put it that way. I think so. <laughs> I never thought about it that way. Yeah, because in the beginning, um, you really try to define and refine the idea and the product. And are you solving a problem? What is the problem that you're solving? And you really can't get answer unless you talk to lots of people. And I think perhaps being a female, it really helps me just to talk to people all day long. <laughs> It's good that you, you can do that so genetically. I think we both have that in common. Well, tonight, as we wrap up here, you're presenting in front of Sheryl Sandberg, who is probably one of the beacons that women have globally, mm -hmm. not just in technology. She's obviously written some incredibly inspiring books um, about a number of different life situations. But you must be pretty excited to have the opportunity to not only be a, a co-founder, but to be recognized by this award and have somebody as prestigious and inspirational as Cheryl in the audience. Absolutely. I have both her books, um, Ling Yin and Option B, and I actually uh, bought both books in Chinese version for my mom as well. So I have, you know, four copies. So I'm a huge fan of Cheryl, and I think she's very inspirational about, you know, leaning in and take a seat at the table. And, uh, you know, one of my friends, Jamie Moy, uh, once said, Girl, let's, you know, forget about taking a seat. Let's create a table. Let's create a seat for other people. Girl, let's create a seat. I love that. Tong Tong, thank you so much for stopping by. Congratulations on, again, thank you. the award. And we look forward to having you back on theCUBE again, talking more about what you're doing with Amber Data. Thank you for having me. We want to thank you. You're watching theCUBE. I'm Lisa Martin from Facebook headquarters. Thanks for watching.